Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. This morning I would like to preach on this message. Ready? Come as you are. Come as you are. Let's, let's go back to our reading this morning. Let's look at how Jesus healed the leper. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knee. Alam mo, pag binasa natin yan, dun sa context natin ngayon, sa panahon natin ngayon, medyo hindi, mas, hindi ka masyado magugulat. Tama ba? Like, alimbawa, nandito si Jesus ngayon, and you see a sick man or a leper approach him, hindi mo, siguro ang sasabihin mo lang, ooh, how nice. Yung ketongin, lumapit kay Jesus. Tama ba? Why? Kasi alam natin that Jesus can heal, yes? Tapos, wala rin tayong problema dun sa leprosy. Wala tayong problema sa leprosy. Kaya parang walang masyadong violent reaction. Parang mas may violent reaction pa pag yung halimbawa, nakita mo si Jesus, tapos ang lumapit sa kanya, yung chismosa mong kapitbahay. Siguro ang sasabihin mo, oh, what a nerve. Lapit ng lapit itong mada- mahaderang ito. Yung ganon. Mas, 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 mas surprise ka pa. Or, siguro mas matindi pa yung, yung, yung reaction mo pag yung lumapit sa kanya, yung dati mong kaibigan na ngayong kaaway mo na. Siguro ang sasabihin mo, Woo! Dual purpose to. Plastic na, mapapil pa. Y- y- yung ganun, yung, siguro yung reaction mo mas grabe pa. But friends, believe me, if you live 2,000 years ago, in the time of Jesus, tas nakita mo yung may sakit, yung may ketong, lumapit kay Jesus, alam mo, sasabihin mo sa kanya ganito, What? Pocket! Pocket si lumapit! Ganyan. Yan, yan parang gano'n. Yung pa, oh, gumagano'n pa. Yung, mapapasigaw ka. Mapapatili ka. Yung parang, mapapatili ka na yung parang may lumapit na ipi sa'yo. Parang gano'n. Sino sa inyo sa bahay ninyo, yung mga babae, pag may ipis, tumitili, singatas nga kamay. Di ba? Yung, an, pag may, na, misan si Jinky, ganyan eh, sisigaw. Pa, 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 pa. Ay, kung ano, ano nangyari? Ano nangyari? May ipis. Yung, yung, muntik na akong atakihin. Para lang, para lang pumunta sa kanya. Dahil lang sa ipis. Naalala ko yung kaibigan ko, ganyan eh. Sabi niya, bakit nga yung ipis, no? Yung, kung sino yung sumisigaw, siya yung nililiparan. Tama ba? Next experience niyan. Ang dami nyo, apat kayo, tapos isa lang yung tumili, ipis! Mamaya makikita mo lumalapit sa kanya yung ipis. Tama ba? Alam mo, sabi ko sa kanya, paano hindi lalapit sa'yo? Tinawag mo. Huwag <laughs> mong tawagin. <laughs> Subukan mo sabihin sa kanya, daga! Hindi lalapit yan. No? Kasi hindi yun ang pakala niya eh. No? Friends, ganyan yung sigaw ng mga tao nung makita nila yung leper lumapit kay Jesus. Ganyan ang reaction nila. Why? Because it's scandalous. Sabi nyo nga, scandalous. Bakit siya scandalous? Because lepers do not go near non-lepers. Hindi pwedeng lumapit yung may sakit doon sa mga taong walang sakit. Hindi pwede yun. Now, tignan natin how horrible a life of a leper was during the time of Jesus. You know, they have this law in Leviticus. No? If you look at the first uh, books in the, in the book, in the Old Testament, yan yung five uh, books about law. And in the law of 
Moses in Leviticus, ang, ang sabi dito, ganito, ganito yung pag may leprosika, le, leprosi sabi niya, anyone with such defiling disease must wear torn clothes, sirasara in the mat, let their hair be unkept, hindi ka pwedeng mag, magtali, hayaan mo lang nakababa, cover the lower part of their face and cry out, unclean, unclean. So may takip yung mukha mo, yung baba, tapos sasabihin mo, habang naglalakad ka, unclean, unclean. You will declare it to them na ano yun, na may sakit ka. Tapos ito pa, as long as they have the disease, they remain unclean. They must live alone. They must live outside the camp. They live alone and they live outside the camp. Hindi sila pwedeng sumama doon sa ibang tao. Since inyo nakapanood nung train to Busan, yeah. naalala nyo pa yung takot nyo. Uh, sino sa inyo natakot sa train to Busan? Alam mo nung napanood kayo, na, na, natakot ako. Compared dun sa mga ibang una ko napala, napanood na zombie movie. Kasi yung ibang zombie movie, matatakot ka ba naman dun? Yung zombie gumahabol na ganyan. Ooh, ooh. Matatakot ka ba dun? Hindi, no? Bakit? Tumakbo ka lang, iwan mo na yun eh. Tama? Pero yung train to Busan, yung, yung mga zombies doon, ang bibilis. Yung talagang, ang bilis gumalaw. Mas lalo na yung isa. Yung palabas ni Brad Pitt. Ha? Mas singer si. <laughs> Parang hindi yata robot yata yun, no? A World War C. A World War C. Mas nakakatakot yun. Mas lalo mabibilis yun eh. No? Pero itong train to Busan, ito pala nakakatakot na. Kasi, unang-una, yung sin saan ginawa? Sa train? Eh, para sa kalalabas doon? Tapos napapalibutan na kayo, di ba? Nakakatakot, takot, natakot ako doon. Kaya nung kasagsaga ng movie, merong nabalita dyan eh, yung namatay. Kasi walang tumulong. Dahil yung mama, bigla na lang ang isa eh. Yung mga tao, natakot. Kala zombie na. May epilepsi lang pala. <laughs> yung, yung ganun. Friends, Ganyan yung leper. Ganyan yung merong leprosy. Lepers are like zombie. They were a living dead. And they live outside the city. Pag na mo yung Talmud, this is a rabbinic teaching, they required this leper to maintain a minimum distance of six feet to a maximum of 150 feet. Six feet to 150 feet. Dapat may distance na ganyang kalayo. Hindi ka pwedeng lumapit sa ibang tao. Na para makita ninyo, sinerge ko yung 150 feet kasi hirap sukatin dito, medyo malayo-layo yun. Eh, no? So, sinerge ko, ang sabi dun sa, if you want to measure 150 feet, it's about 60 steps, normal step, and count 60, yun yung 150 feet. Now, ang gagawin ko na lang, para mas madali, I'll, I'll just count 40 big step. Kasi parang ganun din yan eh. Bigger step, 40 step, that's about 150 feet. Ha? So tulungan nyo ako ha? Tulungan nyo ako. Bilangin natin kung gano'ng kalayo yung 150 feet. Everybody? Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Sandali. Sambatayo. CR? Hindi pwede. Hindi makikita. Thirty. Thirty-one. Two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Kapagod. <laughs> Sarap ng buhay nyo. Nakaupo lang kayo, no? Ganito kalayo, 40 step, big steps, that's 150 feet. Saan ako nagsimula? Doon o sagdan? Ganyan kalayo, that's the maximum distance. Now why the distance? Kasi sabi nila, nagsiselos doon yung mga nasa taas, hindi ko nakakausap. Kaya dito naman, bayaan mo naman sila doon sa baba. <laughs> why the distance? Because of quarantine purpose. 
purposes. Kasi kailangan nila lumayo. Bakit? Nakaka? Hawa. But you know, there's some deeper meaning in that. Other than para mag quarantine lang yung tao, hindi yun ang pinakadahilan. Ang pinakadahilan, but kailangan nila lumayo, it's because of this. Because they believe that if you are sick, if you have leprosy, then you are cursed by God. You are cursed by God. Kaya, hindi ka pwede sumama sa amin. Kasi cursed ka eh. Kami hindi. So, layo ka. Hiwalay ka. Friends, sometimes ganyan sa buhay natin. Tama ba? We feel we're cursed. We feel we're lepers. Why? Kasi maybe there's sins in our lives. Na yung, alam mo yun, yung parang you feel you are cursed by it. Kasi yun yung laging humihila sa'yo po baba. Yung you're trying to change your way, but still parang nananalo lagi yung kahinaan mo sa'yo. Or maybe you're cursed, you, you feel you're cursed, why? Kasi nakikita mo yung iba na bibless at ikaw hindi. And you, you have this bitterness in you. Kaya parang, si serve naman ako, I'm, I'm giving my tithes. Pero bakit ganun? Parang I'm cursed. Sila hindi. Or maybe there is a shame in us. Why? Kasi you've done wrong things, make, made the wrong decisions in life, and you created this distance from God. But friends, listen to me. God is telling us through the story that we read this morning a very important lesson. Ask me, what's the lesson? Lakasan pa. Misa lang ako dito. What's the lesson, Brother James? As if God or Jesus is telling us this morning, don't stay far from me. You have to get out of your isolation. You have to get out of that situation. Try to do everything so that you can step and make the second step and make the third step, the fourth step, the fifth step, but do not stay in that place. Walk towards Jesus because He wants to heal your brokenness. He wants to heal your sinful ways. And like the lepers or the leper, Jesus is telling you, I want to heal you and make you whole. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, God, Jesus would like to heal you. Hindi na kayo magtatampo masyado na. Pwede ba magpahinga muna? <laughs> God wants to heal us. Now let's go to, let's continue with the story. In verse 41, it says here, Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. At once, the deceased left the man and he was clean. Nalala ko nung one holy week, that, I think that's a Friday, nagpunta kami simbahan. Sino sa inyo nagko-confess pag holy week? Yeah. Nagpunta ko doon sa confession. Tapos, pila kami doon sa kumpisalan, siguro pang-apat yata ako o pan-lima. Ako na yung kasunod. Tapos maya-maya, nagulat kami. Sige, nagpe-pray kami. Nagtitika-tika kami kung ano yung mga nagawang kasalanan. Tapos maya-maya, biglan, ang lakas. So, boom! Gumanin yung pinto, bumukas. Tapos sabi nung pare, Ayoko na! Puro kayong makasalanan! Ayoko na marinig yan! Lagi na lang ganyan! Yung ganun, sumisigaw siya. Tapos nagulat kami, nakatingin kami lahat sa kanya. Pero naawa kami dun sa, hindi dun sa pare, dun sa nakukumpisal. Naawa kami. Sabi ko, kung ako yun, 
Hindi ako lalabas. Ang antayin ko mawala lahat ng tao, doon lang ako. Hindi ako lalabas. <laughs> di ba? Kasi bakit? Parang, makasalanan to. Sabi ko, buti hindi ako natapat. Kasi kung ako yung natapat, baka hindi lang sumigaw yung pare, baka naggulong-gulong doon dahil sa kasalanan ko. Ayun, naglulupa sa ito, makasalanan ka, preacher ka pa man din. Yung ganun. Sabi ko, buti na lang, <laughs> hindi ako natapat. Tapos, kapag tinanong ko yung teacher ko, kasi, I'm studying moral theology. Sabi namin, Father, question, Nag, yung pare ba, pwedeng hindi magpatawad pag nagkumpisa lang tao? Ano sa tingin niya sagot? Yes or no? Sino sabing yes? Sino sasabing no? Sino nagsasabing, bahala ka. Ano gusto mo, brad? Ayos kami. <laughs> ano mo sagot niya? Yes. Pwedeng hindi ka i-absolve. Pwede. Pero ito yung tanong, sabi niya, tama ba yung ginawa niya? Alam mo, sagot niya, mali. Mali. Kahit gano'ng kalaki yung kasalanan, yung pare, dapat magpatawad. There's only one sin, I think, na hindi niya pwedeng patawarin. Yan yung abortion. I think it is only the bishop who can absolve us of that particular sin. The rest of the sins, kaya nilang i-absolve. So, sabi niya, hindi pwede hindi magpatawad ang pare. Kahit sabihin mo na yung tao, lagi na lang yun ang kinukonfess, yung tuwing puupo dun sa kumpisalan, yun lang din yung sasabihin niya. Tapos alam na ni Father kung ano yung kasalanan, yung pwedeng, sab- pwedeng sabihin ni Father, pwede ba, pakirecord mo na lang, ganyan din naman, no, i-record mo na lang, tapos padala mo na lang dito para hindi ka nagsasayang na oras, yung ganun. Kasi, laging yun yung nagagawa. Pero sabi niya, no, we still absolve them, absolve people. Why? It's not because we wanted to, but because Jesus want it to. Si Jesus ang gusto magpatawad. Kaya kahit gaano kalaki yung kasalanan mo, kayang patawarin ni Jesus. Pero natanong niyo na ba yung sarili niyo? Why do I keep on doing the same thing I don't want to do over and over again. Natanong nyo na ba yun? Or, why does evil seem more powerful than good? Than the good in me? Because in every people, there is good and somewhat badness in us. Pero bakit kaya, yung minsan yung badness, yung parang mas malakas kesa dun sa goodness? Have you realized that? Now, in order to answer that, I need to make it more graphic para sa inyo. Eh, dyan na lang. Okay na dyan. Dyan na lang. Dyan na lang. Ayan. Para medyo mas madali nyong maunawaan. Ayan. Malinis ba to? Malinis. Mm. <coughs> Champagne. Pero parang lasang light. <laughs> Kunyari, I want you to, to look at this. What if this dark water, dirty water, kunyari madumi siya. No? Malinis siya kasi hindi ko inumin kung marumi. No? Kunyari itong maduming tubig, ihalo ko sa malinis na tubig. Ano mangyayari sa tingin niya? Dudumi yung malinis. Sino nagsasabing dudumi? Sino nagsasabing hindi dudumi? Okay. Tignan natin, ha? Yan. Saan nangyari? Dumumi. Very good. Palakpakan nyo ngayon sa sarili ninyo. So, na, parang nanalo itong maduming tubig sa malinis na tubig. Tama? Sabukan naman natin. Pwede bang paki... Ayan, pakilagyan nga ulit ng tubig yan. Absolute. Ayan. Dapat yan, meron naninigil tayo na sponsorship ha. Now, now what if, ito namang malinis sa tubig, ang ibuhos ko dun sa maruming tubig. Kaya sa tingin niyo mangyayari? Sa so, yung sabing malilinis. 
Sino nagsasabing hindi mm, malilinis? Sino nagsasabing basta Brad ko ano sinabi mo ayos kami? <laughs> Tignan natin ha? Ano mangyayari? Dominis ba? Dominis ba? Dominis ba? Hindi, no? Busin natin. Dominis ba? Hindi, no? Sino nanalo? Yung madumin tubig. So, sino nagsabi na hindi, mad- hindi lilinis? Yeah, palakpakan niya sarili niya. Dark, the dirty water wins again. Kahit maubos yung malinis na tubig. Now, this is my conclusion. Pinag-isipan ko to, ha? Makinig kayo. If the dirty touches the clean water, the clean gets dirty. But when the clean touches the dirty water, the dirty remains dirty. Lalim niya, na? <laughs> Dapat pinapalakpakan niya, malalim niya. <laughs> Ganyan katalino yung builder ninyo. <laughs> Hindi, pero simple lang naman eh, no? Tama, no? If the clean water touches the dirty water, wala nang nangyayari doon sa dirty water. But if the dirty water touches the clean water, it has an effect. Friends, if you look at your personal life, ganyan din minsan. Minsan nahihirapang kang takasan yung kainaan mo. Minsan yung kasalanan mo kaya nandyan because of this illustration. For four years, alam mo yun, you're working on, on, on quitting porn. But still, after four years, ganun pa rin. Still do porn. Or, for the past nine years, you're working on your insecurity. Pero hanggang ngayon, nandyan pa rin. You catch yourself looking at the blessings of others. You catch yourself being overprotective or possessive. You catch yourself na parang gusto mo laging ako yung number one. Ako lagi yung nakakalamang. Or for the past 16 years, you're working on your temper. Yung ayaw mo nang nagagalit. Kasi in, naiinis na sa'yo yung mga anak mo pag sumisigaw ka. Yung Pinipigil mo yung temper mo. Kasi laging sinasabi ng mga anak mo, Ma'am, you're the best teacher I have. You're the best teacher. Sa'yo kami natuto ng anatomy. Kasi lagi mong sinasabi, mata ang ginagamit at hindi ang bunganga. Ma'am, sa'yo kami natuto ng sanitation. Kasi lagi mong sinasabi, ano akala mo sa'kin? Sa Nagtatay ng pera. <laughs> Maham siyo kami natuto ng hypnotism. Bakit? Kasi lagi mong sinasabi, makuha ka sa tingin. At siyo rin kami natuto ng generosity. Kasi lagi mong sinasabi, ibigay mo yan sa kapatid mo, kundi malilintikan ka. And sometimes, na- na- naisip ko lang, is what? I do in the ministry for the past 30 years, is it worth it? Kasi, parang marami pa rin kasalanan sa mundo. Marami pa rin corruption. Yung, we have different feasts and different areas and different countries and they have, there's different churches around us. Pero ang dami pa rin corruption. Dito pa lang sa Pilipinas, ang dami na. Paano pa sa ibang lugar? Marami pa rin tao na kahit nagsiserve na kay Lord, kakasala pa din. Kahit nag na ng feast, gihiwalay pa rin. Kaya minsan nakaka-prostrate. But here's the beauty of our story this morning. As if God is telling me something, that there is someone more powerful than our sins and weaknesses. Balikan natin yung binasa natin. 
And it says here, Jesus said, be clean. At once the deceased left the man and he was clean. Parang ganito yan. Ito yung notice ko. According to their law, when you touch the unclean, you become unclean. That's why, I don't know if you know the story of the Good Samaritan. Sino nakakalam ng Good Samaritan? Yung merong halos mamamatay na dyan, nabugbog kasi na nakawan. Tapos may dumaan na isang pare, may dumaan na isang parisi, and there's, may dumaan na isang Samaritano. Siya yung tumulong. Now, ang tanong, masama ba yung pare or yung parisi? Are they bad people? In fact, no. Alam niyo kung bakit hindi nila tinulungan? Because they, pag tinulungan nila yon, th- these guys, they're going to the temple and before they enter the temple, they need to be clean. And if they touch someone who is unclean, yan, yun na, yung halos mamamatay na, yung may sakit, pag tinulungan nila, alam niyo kung ano mangyayari? Dudumi sila. And they need to do certain rituals before they can go and go and worship in the temple. Kaya hindi nila tinulungan. Kasi they believe that if a person who is clean touches someone who is unclean, then that person becomes unclean. But, when Jesus touched the leper, Jesus don't become unclean. The leper became clean. Paano nangyari yan? Parang ganito yan. Let's go to my illustration. If I got limited water supply, then wala masyado mangyayari dun sa dumi, sa kasalanan ng mundo. But if I have limitless source of water, I want you to watch what will happen. If you have a limitless supply of goodness or good water, the water becomes clean. Now here's my point. To overcome evil in your life and in your world, don't use your limited goodness. Don't use this. Because this is limited. Nothing will happen. But if you want to overcome your evil, evil in your life or in your world, you need to be connected to God's eternal goodness. Because God's goodness can overcome evil. Tanong nyo ko bakit? Because our goodness is limited and God's goodness is Limitless. Kaya huwag kang magsasawa, lumapit sa kanya. Huwag kang magsasawa, ipanilangin yung mga mahal mo sa buhay. Nasa tingin mo parang naliligaw ng landas. Allow me to end with this last note. Gusto kong balikan yung reading natin. And this is the reason why in our Facebook you will see the title. Kung gugustuhin mo, kaya mo. Nakita niyo ba sa Facebook? Tinagalog namin. Kung gugustuhin mo, kaya mo. And it says here, if you are willing, you can make me clean. This is the leper who approached Jesus. If you are willing, you can make me clean. You know, many of us, we believe that God is great. Yes? And it's easy for us to believe that God is great. Tama? Yung pumunta ka lang doon sa salamin mo, tapos tignan mo yung sarili mo, ano sasabihin mo? 
Ang galing ni Lord. Tama? God is great. He created me this. He created me beautiful. He created me handsome. Tama? Kahit yung feeling mo para ka nagsisinungaling, pero di ba? Wow, ang galing ni Lord. Bakit? Perfect. Yung mata ko, perfect. Wala sa kilikili. Tama? O yung ilong ko, wala sa kilikili. Isipin mo kung yung ilong mo nasa kilikili. Di ba? Araw-araw ang baho ng paligid mo. Tama? Ang gali- It's easy to believe that God is great. Yes? Labas ka lang ng bahay, mga puno. God is great. But it's not easy to believe that God is good. Greatness of God is different to the goodness of God. God can do this. God can do everything because He is a powerful God. But the question is, will He use this goodness for my good? Will He use His power for my good? Ako lang ito ha. Ako lang ito. Inimagine ko, maybe, just maybe, yung leper, he had the same dilemma. He has the same dilemma. He know that Jesus can heal his sickness. He can heal his leprosy. Alam niya yan. Why? Kasi if you look at the story before, this particular story, earlier verses, you will see, nag, si Jesus, ang dami na niyang napagaling. Meron dun isang demonic, possessed, na pinalayas yung masamang spirito. Yung, yung isa may sakit, pinagaling niya. Yung mother-in-law ni Peter, pinagaling niya. So he knows about the power of God. But his dilemma is this. Will you heal me? I know you're great, but I don't know if you're good. If you're good to me. Because I'm sick. In fact, buong buhay ko, mag-isa ako, buong buhay ko, I feel isolated. Buong buhay ko, I feel bitter kasi I see a lot of people being blessed. They're so happy. They're together. Pero ako nag-iisa because of my sickness. Will you be that good to me as well? Pero buti na lang. Sabi niyo nga, buti na lang. Buti na lang, hindi siya naniwala dun sa kasinungalingan sa isip niya. Because a lot of people is telling him that you're no good. That he's no good. That na kailangan akong lumayo sa kanila kasi madumi ako. Sila bless ako hindi. Sila bless ako cursed. Buti na lang hindi siya naniwala doon. Buti na lang humakbang siya. Kahit dahan-dahan. Kahit hindi niya alam kung ano talaga sasabihin ni Jesus. Hindi niya alam talaga kung pakikinggan nga siya ni Jesus. Kaya nasa harap na siya, ang tanong niya, if you're willing, I know you can heal me, but are you willing to heal me? Because he believe in the greatness of Jesus, but hindi pa niya alam kung yung greatness niya is equals to his goodness. Hindi ko alam kung Patatawarin mo po na ako dun sa mga kahinaan ko, sa kasalanan ko na lagi kong nagagawa laban sa iyo. Hindi ko alam kung kaya mo tanggalin itong bitter na sa puso ko. Because I see myself as a cursed person. Hindi ko alam kung tatanggal mo yung shame dahil sa mga maling decision ko sa buhay ko. I know you're great. That's why if you're willing, I know you can make me clean and whole again. buti na lang sinubukan niya. 
Dalam yung sabi ni Yesus sa kanya. I am willing. 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 Friends, do you want to experience God's goodness this Lent? Do what the leper did. Make one step closer to Jesus for the next 40 days. Tanggalin mo yung hiya mo. Nagalit ka sa kanya because of some situations in your life. Just keep on moving towards him. Come as you are. And like that leper, you will experience His goodness. Close your eyes, bow down your heads. And may this be a prayer to you. I'll pray this. I want you to pray with me in your heart. This is an opening prayer to our personal retreat for the next 40 days. Lord, I consecrate my 40-day Lenten retreat to you. My goal is to grow closer to you, to take each step towards you. I won't hide. I won't pretend. I'll come as I am. I'll show you my mess. You'll show me your mercy. On my own, I can fix me, but I know your spirit can. And for the next 40 days, work in me. Heal me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Saints of heaven, pray for my 40-day Lenten retreat. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.